huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. face the calamity has given us so much hope. Snap! This is the Lentil Region. You'll ride the Neo One through the jungle, across the desert, and even under the sea to research Pokémon in their natural habitats. And of course, you won't be alone. Professor Mirror, who's doing research in the Lentil Region, and research team members Rita and Phil are there to support you, so you're in good hands. Now then, let's get that research started! By watching wild Pokémon, you can discover behaviors and expressions that are rarely seen. Look! A surfing Alolan Raichu! And there's Vaporeon! Let's try throwing it a fluff fruit. That's it! Now's our chance! Oh! It's Tyranitar! What a wild way to eat! Here's a park at night. Let's try playing a melody. Oh! That sure made Hoot Hoot happy! You'll also have Illumina Orbs, something the professor invented. If you use one of these, you can make any Pokémon glow! Oh, those flames changed color! Make good.
good use of your tools to take shots that really stand out. Then, show the photos you took to the professor. Oh, four stars! We captured a rare moment there. Catch a variety of different behaviors on camera to fill up your Pokemon photo decks. And there's more! You'll be able to edit the photos you've taken. Use features like stickers and frames to make your favorite photos even more special. And I'm sure you'll want to show off your best photos, right? We know that feeling well. When you want to do that, it's time to go online. You can share your favorite photos and check out photos from around the world. And if your photo becomes popular, it might even be featured and get more attention. Seeing something like that may inspire you to go back and take even more photos. We're getting closer to the start of your adventure. Unexplored islands and plenty of Pokemon await in the Lentil region. So make sure you're prepared. Whoa! Is that the mythical Pokemon Celebi? Get ready! The Lentil region is waiting for you! Band together on a quest to face evil and save faces. Miitopia is coming to Nintendo Switch. Cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your Mies and get them ready for adventure. There's also a new wig feature, letting you go wild with your me creations and make them even more fabulous. In the world of Miitopia, relationships are key. So consider spending some quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. This can give you an advantage during battle. If your relationship's sour though, things might take a turn for the worse. Whoa, you can have a horse as an ally? That sounds pretty barn good. Care for it and it'll lend a hand or poof in battle. Venture with friends and familiar faces in the lighthearted romp Metopia, coming to Nintendo Switch May 21st. The fairway is open once again. Tee off on the latest installment of the Mario Golf series, coming to Nintendo Switch. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush, natural scenery. Use features on the greens, like a shot gauge, to see how your shot will curve due to slopes. And a scan that lets you examine a course's terrain. These features can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls by holding a Joy-Con controller like a golf club. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game, letting you easily enjoy the sensation of golfing. On top of all that, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf including this one, Speed Golf. Here, it's always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of dashes and special shots to beat the competition. Oh, did we mention Story Mode? As a me character, you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Level up with experience points earned during matches. Then, allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin on Nintendo eShop after this presentation.
What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. The right Joy-Con controller is themed after the Master Sword, while the left features a Hylian Shield motif. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii, and those playing it for the first time, will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop, and the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD.